Oh, it's so sunny. Can you say hi? Oh, you're so freaking cute. It should be illegal. Good morning, fam. It's Friday. I woke up not too long ago. I've been doing some work on my computer and now I'm about to go for a run. It's starting to get to that point of the year where I'm transitioning my runs from outside to inside. Last year I ended up running outside until it got like extremely, extremely cold. And if any of you guys are runners, then the cement, it actually makes such a difference how much harder the ground gets. And it ended up ruining my knee last year. I love running outside because outside it's like, there's so much to look at. You're listening to your music. There's people around. I also don't mind the treadmill because then you can watch like YouTube videos and stuff but it's just like that's not normally like my go-to when I'm working out I like to just like smash it out to some crazy music the other nice thing about running inside as opposed to outside is I get to like wear more of my exercise stuff so this shirt's actually pretty old it's from Victoria's Secret it's just like a Victoria sport I'll show you guys the back in the mirror pink cropped leggings and then I'm just gonna wear my black running shoes of course my black hat this has been like my workout hat all freaking Year. And then we'll get to work today. There's quite a few things to do, but I'm like, it's one of those days that I'm really, I'm really kind of feeling just tired. It's Friday. I'm not in the mood to go for a run, but I made a commitment to myself. Do it. Just get it done and then get on with the rest of the stuff I need to do so that I can Friday chill tonight. Don't get me wrong, but you don't get me yet. All talking to you is like talk, talk, talking to a wall, but you look so hot when you don't listen. I was 22. Couldn't see it back then. Loving you, man. Lose, lose, losing my friends, but you're still so hot. You never call me. So better. I can work with this. God, I'm excited not to look so washed out on camera. Praying that I'm not gonna look washed out on camera anymore. Um, hi. I do such a vast majority or variety, I guess you might say, of videos because I don't know, I just love to create. I love creating content. And so I decided to split up my content because for me, something that was just really weighing on me was feeling like I like things to just have themes. And so one of the things that I really love working on are my Zodiacs and my, you know, those videos that are a little bit more like highly produced. I decided to start up my second channel again so that I could keep this channel as more vlogging my lifestyle with you guys, vlogging the things happening in my day to day life. And every time I pick up this camera, I know exactly what I can talk about because I'm basically showing you guys my personal side. And the Coz channel is really cool and making that differentiating factor for me was really important because when it comes to posting to that channel, I post a little bit more like highly produced things, a bit more artsy things, a bit more thought out and like processed things or like coffee talks and the videos that I just like sit down and shoot in one go or maybe do a little bit more artsy or like lookbooks or like, no, fashion's gonna stay on this channel, but like you guys get what I'm saying. Long story short, this is my vlog channel and that channel is going to be my more like highly produced content channel. I'm about to do what I'm about to do, but it doesn't make me any less a little freaked out. I know it's just hair and I know that people are gonna be like, oh my God, this girl, shut up. It's just a hair color, relax. But I'm also like, oh, this changes everything. I'm rebranding on a whole freaking level, you know? If I'm going to the dark side, best believe I have a whole idea in mind of the clothes and like the makeup and just like everything is about to change. I'm gonna be talking a lot while I do my hair with you guys. So let's skip forward to that. But first things first, I feel like if I'm being hella real with you guys, I'm gonna need a bit of Inspiration, if you know what I mean. Precisely. This will get the job done. I can't believe this is happening. Like, oh, my light hair is gonna be gone, but it won't be gone for long. This is literally just an interlude. This is just a little thing that I feel like I just need to do or wanna do. Life's too short. Let's have some fun, for reals though, cause I'm actually kinda scared. <laughs> okay. Wearing my Super Ohm shirt, channeling my Super Ohm by David G. David G actually sent me this shirt, guys. Like, honestly, because of you. I told you guys about Sacred Powers and we all started talking about it and so many of you guys read it and tweeted me about it and tweeted me about reading it and Instagrammed me about reading it and like tagged us both in it. And he reached out as David G follows Bentley on Instagram. So I always put this shirt on when I feel like, to be honest, this was my volleyball shirt on days where I was just like super anxious and was kind of like chickening out on like, going to volleyball because my social anxiety, I just like, like throw on this shirt and I'd be like, I'm super ohm. And yeah, I channeled this energy. He helped change my life this year. So we're doing this. Wow. Six years since I've had dark hair. I've had dark hair before though. So it's like, whatever will make whatever work. I know what I want to do with my hair 
for my birthday, even though that's really far away, don't judge me. I feel like getting rid of the blonde and just starting over fresh and not only that, there's so much more symbolism to it that I haven't even, that, <laughs> uh, if you guys listen to the Coffee Talk podcast and you remember me saying that there's inspos and things that you guys won't even realize is part of something until it happens, like you guys won't know for like six months, but I'm like, uh, and I'm really bad at keeping secrets, but. This is one I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go over to the dark side for a little bit. This isn't goodbye forever. This is just goodbye for now. Also, protect your David G shirt. Just saying. I feel like I'm like a spy going undercover and I need to be incognito and like I'm running away, you know? Like getaway car, Taylor Swift. I feel very free by this. I stumbled across this one random photo. I'll pop it up on the screen. My papa, actually, the anniversary of my papa's passing was two days ago and it got me looking at all my high school photos and just, I don't know, like I miss him so much, but I also like, I feel him around me all the time and so it was like a mixture of both. It was a mixture of missing him and it was a mixture of feeling like it was a sign, you know? It's basically been since the last time I was brunette. All the stuff that's kind of gone on since then and all the uh, just things that I've done and overcome and this is just uh, another part of the revolution, you know? All right guys, let's do it. One last chance to check it out. Whew. All right. Bye blonde hair, see you when I'm 25. Oh my God. I'm naked now, this is probably Definitely gonna need to do it one more time because there's a couple blonde spots that I missed, but guys, I'm officially a brunette. This isn't like a permanent dye or anything, so it's not too harmful for my head. Okay, let's go see what Marissa thinks. Are you at, homie? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Oh god, okay. Keep oh damn. Hello. Damn. I'm a brunette. I need to take this in. <laughs> it actually looks it's different. Amazing. Yeah. It looks so good. I'm glad you like it. Damn, it's like sexy. That's what it, it's like a, it's a whole different. It's spicy. It's spicier <laughs> than usual. So, okay. roommate approved? Roommate definitely Wait. approved. There we go, <laughs> roommate approved. I was like, like yeah. you've been blonde forever, but like this word. Eyebrows and like with your eyes, and like I feel like you should be a brunette. There's like one other person here that I hope still recognizes me. Bentley, can you come out? Come here. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Come here, oh, come here. You know who I am? You do? We look more alike now. It looks so like mature. Like you look, oh! like, you look like a woman. I'm glad you like it. I really like it. I'm glad you recognize uh, me. Oh. You recognize me, yay! Good morning, what's up? It's now Saturday morning. I'm actually just about to head out to pick up my sister. She arrives at 9.30. Um, P.S. if I keep looking up at the viewfinder, it's because it's kind of shaken me seeing myself with dark hair. I guess you guys are kind of seeing it for the first time in the daylight, but yeah, I, I'm a brunette. The funniest thing is I keep forgetting. So like when I woke up this morning and jumped out of bed, I went to the bathroom and saw myself and literally was like, I scared the actual bejesus out of myself. One thing that I know I'm gonna have some fun with though is, and I, I was doing it this morning when I was doing my makeup, it's gonna be so fun to play around with just like different looks now. I get to do everything from the very beginning. It's exciting. And I also just like all the clothes that I'm wearing when I go to put on my outfit, I'm like, how is this outfit? This outfit looked so different when I had white hair and like was wearing little socks. And now I'm like, now I'm a brunette. Yeah, I haven't posted anything to social media yet, so nobody knows at this point. It's Saturday morning. I wanted to wait and vlog my sister's reaction when we pick her up. So let's hit the Jeep. Let's go. Let's grab my sister and then um, let's see what she thinks. I feel like I look my age now. I just look older. <laughs> let's go. Surprise, Kira. We have the hidden camera. We have the good beats. And the moon. While I'm like killing time, I'm, I'm like coming to the realization of what my favorite apps are when I'm just like mindlessly scrolling and like Twitter is my jam, okay? People that scroll through Instagram, like I get it. Stuff you find on Twitter is stuff that you can't find like anywhere else. For instance, Larry Duff performing at the Thanksgiving parade in 2003 is my Saturday mood. And you old bad heart, cause I wanna. <laughs> 
Are you at, homie? Also, can we just like witness how iconic this building is? This is taking longer than I thought. I feel like she got stuck somewhere. Let's turn this back up. Here's the one more step. Okay, here she is. I did! <laughs> you didn't even give me a blueprint! No, I wanted to vlog your reaction. <laughs> Shit, God. How was your chicken? Repping coat sweaters and beanies. It's so weird though that we're opposites. Tabri yeah. chicks. I'm not much of like a sweet person in the morning unless it's unless it's like a random occasion that I'm like, mmm, waffles. And it's gotta be like chocolate and like there needs to still be a potato on the plate. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back here, do a couple Coe's promo things, and then Kira's gonna be off on her way. But we're going to this place called Hello123. It's like an all vegan place. Kira, you eat vegan, I'd say like what, 80% of the time? Probably like 90. 90? Yeah. I Casey, thought, we've yeah. talked about this before, but like I'm still shook that Casey eats vegan. I know. Yeah, kombucha and lattes. I don't really know what else to say, so let's just cut to breakfast because I'm freaking hangry. outro to this video but really quick before we jump to that outro I wanted to take a quick second to talk to you guys because it is in relation to me changing my hair and unfortunately this is a reaction to a few comments that I just read and I know that I shouldn't care but here I am nonetheless <laughs> letting it kind of not affect me but it's definitely inspiring me to just sit down and explain something real quick wavering on how I wanted to breach this topic. It's a topic that I want to make an entire video about. I want to do it full justice. I feel like there's going to be a lot of misunderstanding until that video goes live. Until then, I just want to breach this topic really quick, especially on this channel too, because that video will be going on to my second channel since it's going to be a more highly produced video. I feel like there's a lot of confusion over a lot of the changes going on. I changed my hair. I'm changing the way that I'm uploading and I'm changing just a lot of things, even in my own life that you guys aren't seeing. I feel like a lot of the times in the past when I've done these kinds of just like, you know, relaunching and refreshing and starting over and starting fresh and blah, 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 blah. It's always kind of come from the perspective of these changes are gonna make me a new person. But this time it's actually been reversed. The reason why I dyed my hair, the reason why all of these changes are happening with my upload schedule and my channel. Changing my hair was me making a choice that is only gonna further support the other choices that I've already been making that are making me happier and that are making me healthier. Healthier. And what that all means is going to be what I dive into in that video, but I, I get it. People are going to have opinions and I'm so, so sorry if the changes I've been making have been confusing you or if the changes I've been making aren't changes that you like. I just need to know that what I'm doing is ultimately supporting myself. I've spent way too much time in my life not supporting myself and basically just putting all this pressure and all of this weight on myself to try and be something that I'm just discovering is just... It's just not the healthiest version of me. I did film an outro for this video and I don't want to ramble too much longer, but this was just a topic that I really wanted to address because I feel like once a few weeks pass and the routine has already just started to establish itself with uploading, you guys will see that it is honestly going to be for the better. And there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to cover over the next few weeks. And some of them are absolutely so much fun, so much Christmas stuff, things that I want to get off of my chest to you guys that are going to be a little harder for me because I have to be super vulnerable and I have to be super raw and honest 
honest freaking transformation going on right now know that when I'm not saying anything at all it's not because I'm trying to dismiss anything or anyone or ignore questions that people are having it's honestly just because a lot of the times I'm not sure exactly what I have to say yet so hopefully you'll stick around to see the end the end game I feel like everything's kind of gonna come together towards beginning of 2019 I just yeah. Zip to the actual outro of this video now because I just really needed to get that off my chest. I don't want to put on like a blanket for this. Can I just bring you guys all the way closer? I also just feel like I've finally kind of slowed life down a little bit long enough to really give myself the chance to be like to make some decisions that are kind of for me, you know? And this was one of them. Tanning routine is different now, and my makeup routine is different now, so if you guys want some like updated routines, let me know, because all of those things have officially changed with going to this whole new look that I'm kind of embracing. I can't express how refreshing it can be to just change things up. Every time I've woken up the last four days, the first thing I see is me, because I'm like, whoa, who the heck is that girl? Because I. My hair is so dark. And then the second thing that goes through my head is that looks more me than when I looked in the mirror just a few days ago. And that is like, whoa. It's safe to say we're embracing change over here in my neck of the woods. He's staring at me. Not to mention when it boils down to it, there's so much more to us than what we look like, you know? Be this, do that, or paint ourselves and put ourselves in these criterias and into these boxes and say like, this is who I am, challenge that. I mean, why not? That's what we're here for, right? Isn't that what life is all about? But aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Wednesday vlog. Make sure to check back on Friday because there will be the second vlog of the week. And aside from that, I'll see you guys all in that video. Bye guys.